So, mail came in. We have calipers, two lines, the brackets, the two rotors. Uh, the only thing I'm going to have to do is figure out the e-brake cable. They go on this end here, and these ones didn't come with it. But I did grab them when I was at the junkyard. Uh, I made sure to grab a bunch of little parts. I'm just going to have to uh, piece those guys together and hope for the best. All right, so what I think is going to have to happen is we have our four bolts there. We're going to take three of them, mount this on this way. With this on, the, the bracket kit comes with two bolts that are also 14. They are going to go in the opposite direction that way, and then we put our bracket on this way. And then it will mount up like that. And once I get there, we'll go ahead and see what happens next. So an issue that we're running into is with this mounted on to here and we bolt it, it's hitting this portion of metal in the back. So we're going to have to get a grinder and cut it out. It's pretty thick. I've tried using a hammer. I've tried prying it backwards. It's not budging so I'm just going to go and find a grinder cut out a square or cut two lines and then bend it back uh, and then I'm hoping that we can just pop everything back on and it's a plug and play situation after that in terms of uh, putting the, the road and the caliper on and I'm still got to figure out how to do the e-brake cable since there was no e-brake bracket that came with it. So while mocking everything up it looks like we're gonna have to cut the trailing arm here. Uh, so I'm going to kind of cut it at an angle, bend it backwards. I'm not going to cut it off. It's not going to bother me much. Luckily, we're able to get a grinder to help us with this. So for some reason my camera decided to uh, say the storage was full and I wasn't able to record it but I essentially just used the grinder, thanks Carlos and Greg, uh, cut down this way and this way because when we have the bracket on here that caliper sits far enough back that it might hit this and we're not going to be able to bolt it up. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side first before we mount everything up. Brake line time, that right there. Undo that one and plug the new one in. So I put the wheel hub back on. We took the top caliper bracket off so we can put the rotor on. Uh, we have our axle nut, we gotta go ahead and tighten and put our rotor on. Remember our caliper will go in the back this way. And then we'll go ahead and bolt in with those two new silver bolts that are also 14s. Let's tighten the axle nut and then put these in. Okay guys, we went ahead and put on the rotor, the caliper, which we had to cut very deep into the metal back here. Um, I'm gonna have to take this off in order to put this on because we had taken the original bracket which was flat this way and had a shop re-weld it into a 90. Thanks Muffler Doctor for that. Uh, doesn't look good. Don't really care at this point. Just trying to get it on so now to see if we can mount this guy onto the car. Alright so Right there, those two holes 
we're going to line them up with these two holes like that, mounts it on. All right, there's the bracket welded on and then tacked on with those two bolts. That's how much I had to cut away right there in the back. And I'm probably going to grind that down a little more since I have a little bit more time today. But when it goes on like this, the bolts actually line up, brackets right there. And then just going to feed the e-brake through and connect it there. Hopefully it all fits in. Cool. We have the e-brake cable right in there. And it comes to like a 90, 90 degree bolted in. So we'll just put this back on uh, right back there. If you can see it where I had to cut out that chunk of metal, grind it down a little bit. Uh, we'll put this in and do the other side. All right, so both sides are complete. Uh, just wanted to point out the brake lines there. The cable wraps up to the top and it's at a pretty, pretty gnarly angle there because it attaches there. But without the wheel, it's kind of what it looks like. Uh, next step is to bleed it. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that. And you'll have to set up the e-brake itself on the inside. I'm not going to show you how to do that either. But this is this is it. This is uh, pretty much how you do it. Um, the bracket is right behind there. Caliper here. Got the rotor. Spins. So I'm just going to bleed them. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, guys. A uh, big shout out to Mo EF Parts for the bracket. Uh, and then he also sent me these ones. Not sure if he has more in stock for you guys. But good luck if you have any questions. Go ahead and put them down and if I have time I'll answer them. It's back on. I would rate this project like 7.5 out of 10 for difficulty. Uh, Mo, thanks for the brackets. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know.